The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Welcome to Championship Wrestling from Arizona, presented by Car Shield. I'm your host, Jeremy McPeak, and I hope that you enjoyed Halston Body's Coastline Clash as much as I did. Last week on our finale, Levi Shapiro held on to the United Wrestling TV title thanks to the time limit expiring. But he will defend again here today against the golden boy, Jordan Clearwater. Plus, Kevin Martinson meets Mike Camden, who's been struggling to find his footing here in Championship Wrestling. And we'll hear from the new... Hollywood Heritage Champion, Jordan Cruz, right now. Please welcome the new Hollywood Heritage Champion, the pride of Lafayette, Louisiana, Mr. Jordan Cruz. Champ, welcome to the program. Hey, John, how's it going? It's going great. It's great to see you. It's great to have a new Hollywood Heritage Champion. Let's talk about that match between you and uh, Richie Slade. You know, Beef Candy, of course, uh, uh, Flex McCallion tried to get involved, tried to get all over the place, but you, you had the answer to him. That's right. I had all the answers for Beef Candy. Hey, I got to give those guys a little bit of credit. As much as I might disagree with their underhanded tactics, it worked for a while. They were able to beat some of the top competitors here at Champs of Wrestling for Hollywood until they ran into me. When they decided to call me out, they got a little too big-headed. They got a little too carried away with themselves. And I get it. You want to call me out? It's a business. You guys made it personal when you attacked me from behind. And you paid the ultimate price when I cashed in that golden ticket and became the new Hollywood Heritage Champion. Well, that's right. You did cash in the golden ticket. You are the new champion. But speaking of being the new champion, what's next for you? Well, hey, it's an overwhelming feeling, and it's one that I don't take lightly. There are a lot of top names that have held this title. Ray Rosas, Scorpio Sky, Peter Avalon, Bad Dude Tito. And I intend to add my name to that list. Now that I'm there, I intend to prove that I belong to be in the discussion as one of the top guys to hold this title. It's not going to be an easy task, but it's one that I'm most ready for. The new Hollywood Heritage Champion, Jordan Cruz. He's ready for action, and so are we. It's time for Championship Wrestling. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Sin City, weighing in at 170 pounds, he is the skate park scumbag, Sketch. Getting set for our opening action here on Championship Wrestling and Sketch switching gears to singles competition after uh, he and Adriel Noctis, Wasted Youth, just have not been on the same page and pretty unceremonial breakdown at Coastline Clash. And introducing his opponent from Parts Unknown, weighing in at 400 pounds, Miguel. And we heard earlier from the new heritage champion, Jordan Cruz. And if the win streak of this monster continues, this is the likes that uh, Cruz may have to face inside the squared circle. As Cruz mentioned, he does intend to be a fighting champion, wants to put his name amongst the greats that have held that prestigious title. Yeah, wants to be one of the best. And he oh. though goes the skate park scumbag picks up the pace oh. uh oh watch out here bad position don't think he's gonna complete this cover and man just getting manhandled by the big kodiak bear 
This guy is so big that, man, if he does end up having to face Jordan Cruz, I'm not sure how you're going to deal with a guy with the size that Miguel has. This is a big, scary dude, and he throws a lot of his weight into those attacks. Just an absolute mastodon in that ring, now in full control of Sketch. That was great to hear from the Heritage Champion. But man, this has been just an aggressive beatdown, a nice quick start for Sketch. But like you said, as soon as this big guy gets a hold of you, you're in trouble. Look out oh, here! Mercy. Yikes! Wow. That is a lot of man coming right into Sketch's face in the corner. Zero give smash. It's in the wrong part of Dogtown, and I think that might be all for Sketch. Oh, it's got him throttled here. Look out. That big oh. double choke bomb, what a thud. Just echoing off the walls. That's usually step one, and things might go from bad to worse out of the frying pan into the fire for Sketch if this big man drops that body weight down. Looks like that's what's gonna happen. Oh. Huge knee drop into the cover. It's academic. Here is your winner, Miguel. Decisive, dominant victory by Miguel. Let's take a look back at it. Short-lived action brought to you by UnitedWrestlingShop.com. Get your official United gear. And here it is, that double choke bomb, and then into the knee drop, and looks like he's uh, taking a souvenir. Yeah, big time knee. Sketch wasn't able to stick and move for long enough. Miguel with an authoritative victory. More coming your way, including our main event for the United Television title. We'll be back. Oh, hold on. Whoa. Thought we were gonna go to break, but you know, we, we mentioned an uneasy alliance as of late. These two not on the same page. And and uh, Adriel Noctis looks like he's showing some concern for his you know, former partner, perhaps partner. Uh-oh, oh. Sketch wanting no part of it. Well, it looks like, looks like Noctis. What do you want? Yeah, let me Seems like, sincere, yeah. making amends here, you know? Teams fight, you know, sometimes you're not on the same page, but you, you can bring it back together, offering the handshake, you love to see it. Well, Sketch taking them up on it, at, you know, I guess heat of the battle type stuff at Coastline Clash, good to see wasted youth not wasting this opportunity to mend their fences. So much more coming your way on Championship Wrestling. People ask Nature Boy, why do you love Car Shield so much? I say because I choose my mechanics and coverage. That includes towing and roadside assistance. Expensive car repairs can kiss my, woo! Fans, show your support for our newest sponsor, 3D Sports Cards and Collectibles, located at 32nd Avenue in Bell. The mom and pop shop is set builder central for you trading card collectors. They've also got sports autographs, Funko Pops, professional wrestling memorabilia. Speaking of wrestling, you'll want to follow 3D Sports Cards on Facebook and Instagram for information on upcoming appearances by wrestling greats, as well as some of your favorites from Championship Wrestling from Arizona. That's 3D Sports Cards and Collectibles at 32nd Avenue and Bell. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn about this groundbreaking new CGM technology. And if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Shipping is free and we'll even bill your insurance company for you. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn how you can get your own continuous glucose monitor or CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Attention. If you currently do not get health insurance through your employer, or if you do not have health insurance, or if you just got divorced or married, had a baby, moved, or lost your health insurance coverage, listen closely. You are eligible for a new health care plan using Health Insurance America. A family of four can make up to $97,000 a year. 
and still qualify for a new health care plan. Get coverage for doctor visits, prescriptions, hospital, dental, and vision for as little as $25 a week with copays as low as $0. Health insurance rates have nearly doubled in the last three years. Stop paying the rising cost of traditional major medical and learn how Health Insurance America is saving people thousands of dollars a year on their health care plans. Don't waste hours on the phone or on a government website. Talk to a live health care consultant right now. Call 1-800-709-1029. That's 1-800-709-1029. 1-800-709-1029. Jamie, 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 Jamie. Did you see Halston Bunny's coastline crash? Halston, oh. Halston, have a seat, please. Of course. Have Absolutely, Jamie. Thank you for having me. Oh. Coastline clash. It happened. Things occurred. The show's over. I have a problem. I have a big problem, Halston. What's the problem? What are you talking I, about, Jamie? I don't understand. I'm, what are you about? I'm gonna tell you what the problem is if you'll just shut up for one second. You see, the talent, the vendors, the producers, the, the crew have not received a dime. Nico wasn't here to pay for this show. This came out of my pocket, Halston. I want to know where my money is. Bring it down a notch, Jimmy. The books haven't even been cooked yet. I'm still working on it. The receipts aren't even collected. I've got this, Jimmy. I've got this. Trust me. Halston! I want to know why I'm keeping you here, man. You saw how easily I got rid of Heather. Please, please do not believe that you are invincible here, sir. Oh. So you're making, you're just aggravating me right now. I don't need this stress. I should, I should just send you home right now. You, you can't send me home. Viva Man has a match today. You're damn right she has a match. She has a match against somebody that I brought in. Unlike you, I'm pulling my weight around here. I'm bringing in Bryn Thorne, and she's going to give her a run for her money. You guys better be ready. This is going to be a match. This is going to be a contest. All right? Well, if there's anything you should know about me, Jamie Ivian, is I'm always ready. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from San Diego, California, weighing at 205 pounds, El Numero Uno, Mike Camden. Set for more action, this should be a good one. El Numero Uno, Mike Camden, set to take on one of the most decorated athletes in the history of championship wrestling, Kevin Martinson. Yeah, we're used to seeing Mike Camden in tag team action, but El Numero Uno riding solo for this one. And introducing his opponent from the Electric City, weighing in at 210 pounds, BHK, Kevin Martinson. Kevin Martinson may hail from the Electric City, but when we saw him at Coastline Clash taking on EJ Sparks, he was sending bolts of lightning through the knee of Phoenix's favorite son, courtesy of the ring post, Blake. Yeah, he is a very legitimate competitor who has put the hurt on many, many men inside of this United Wrestling ring. A little bit of a, an odd duck, even just by how he was navigating that rampway and now navigating Mike Camden out of the way. Well, we do know from Primetime Live in the past that he hate ramp. Yes, he does. Big matchup here, though, could have championship implications, in my estimation. Later on in our main event, what a matchup it will be as Jordan Clearwater gets his opportunity, the former Heritage Champion taking on Levi Shapiro for the United Television title. That's still to come, but big uh, battle in the pecking order here between Martinson and Camden. No doubt about it. Whoever wins this matchup may be set up for a shot at that or Jordan Cruz's Heritage Championship. Yeah, this one is uh, going to sort of be a clarifying uh, in that sort of pecking order, as you said. A lot of agility, power, and athleticism about to go toe to toe. You know, both Camden and Martinson have have similar weapons, Blake. Yeah, I, would I would definitely say that the experience is significantly in Kevin Martinson's favor, though, and that could play dividends for him in this matchup. Both have been tag team experts in the past. Uh, you know, Martinson with the Rock Nest Monsters, and of course the Hogsman most recently. 
having a couple opportunities at the United Tag Team Champions, the Bodega, came up just short, but big singles opportunity, as you mentioned, going solo here. El Numero Uno living up to that name. Yes, riding solo here, and Kevin Martinson, is just such an accomplished, such a decorated competitor here at Championship Wrestling. You gotta believe that he he feels that, you know, it's, it's his time in line once again. You know, we've seen a lot of guys that are fantastic tab, tag team competitors, but that doesn't always translate to singles action. However, we have seen Kevin Martinson compete in the United Wrestling Network's World Championship Tournament on Primetime Live, and that man can do it as a team, and he can do it by himself. Wow, great go behind there by Mike Camden on the veteran. You were talking about it earlier, TK. Both of these men uh, very adept at throwing the German suplex. Looks like, oh, now it looks like Martinson may be going for it here. Who is going to win out on this exchange? I, yeah, that that is a primary weapon of both, Blake. Yeah, guys are, these guys are fantastic at fighting the grip from behind. Here you can see Kevin Martinson trying to break that grip apart. Both guys have broken the grip and hit a switch on each other. If they can't break the grip, they're definitely in danger of getting German suplex. There, you see Kevin Martinson break the grip again. Round go and behind. round we go. Are they perhaps going for this a bit too early, though, Blake, in your estimation? You Either know, one I, don't think get I, dirt. I don't think it's ever too early to look for a finish. Now, very dangerous with the lower extremities is uh, is Martinson. Of course, he's got that the uh, sharpshooter, rat trap, call it what you will. Back inside, oh! runs right to the DDT, and he got spiked. Talking about never too early to go for the finish. Camden almost finished him right there. Try, try again. Yeah, that time for the second pin, he hooked the arm, keeping the leg elevated. However, Martinson was still able to kick out, but he looks very hurt from that DDT. You can God. still see him clutching his head. What a smart move by Camden. Just had it, had it ready and locked him, waiting for one Martinson. And now oh. we see the German back on that head. Throwing yeah. for distance, release German suplex, perfectly executed. You can see the anguish all over the face of Martinson. Camden. Closing in on the victory, boy, Camden is laser focused here. Yeah, and he definitely, definitely has Martinson in a bad spot. He softened him up with that DDT and then planted him with that German suplex. If he's able to continue to put this damage on Martinson, it could be a short, rough night for Martinson. And after, you know, those repeated shots to the head, neck, spine region, I don't know if Martinson will have all that behind his strikes. You know, you could have, you get a little nerve damage and you just can't throw the way you normally would. Yeah, Martinson, two big shots on his head. Looks like maybe he doesn't know where he is, but then again, that might not be anything new for Martinson. He's looking to keep fighting. Sharp oh, now he's going for the German again. Loves, love the way that he changed levels there. And, but nice defense of the throw there by Camden. Hey! And there it is! Turnabout's fair play. Martinson returns the favor with the big German suplex. Why decide between a walk-in tub or shower when you could have both? Call now and we'll upgrade your new Safe Step walk-in tub purchase with our exclusive free shower package. Once you turn 60, you have to realize there are limitations whether you want to admit it or not. My walk-in tub has helped me to continue to enjoy a much better quality of life. Call 800-905-7492. That's 800-905-7492. 800-905-7492. Call now. Attention. If you've had a hernia surgery after 2006 and suffered from serious side effects such as infection, chronic pain, organ damage, mesh shrinkage, or mesh migration, you could be eligible for financial compensation. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte right now at the number on your screen or visit meshjustice.com now. Ethicon, a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson, has withdrawn its Physio Mesh Flexible Composite Mesh from the market. Again, if you've had complications from your hernia surgery after 2006, you could be eligible for financial compensation. We can find out what type of devices were used in your surgery. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit meshjustice.com now. You deserve justice and the call is free. And there is no fee unless we win your case. Call now for your free case evaluation. Again, call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit MeshJustice.com now. Mary and Shirley both need oxygen. Shirley lost her freedom the day she went on oxygen, but Mary has the ultra-compact Inogen 1 G4 Oxygen Concentrator from Inogen. It's the smallest and lightest model we've ever made. Shirley is forced to miss out on everyday activities. Mary fully enjoys her life. 
Shirley has to wait for tank deliveries and worries about running out of oxygen. But Mary's Energen 1 G4 makes its own oxygen, so she'll always have the oxygen she needs anytime, anywhere. Shirley finally listened to Mary and now has more freedom too. It's time for you to reclaim your freedom and independence with the Energen 1 G4. Act now to start your 30-day risk-free trial. This is a limited time offer, so don't wait and don't accept substitutions. The sooner you call, the sooner you can say goodbye to heavy oxygen tanks for good and reclaim the freedom and independence you deserve. Call now for your 30-day risk-free trial. Call 800-721-9328. That's 800-721-9328. Welcome back, everyone. What a battle between Kevin Martinson, Mike Camden, living up to the billing and then some. And Martinson was trying to go high risk, and it might not be high reward. No, it looks like Martinson just in a very precarious spot. Is Camden going to send him back to the outside? Maybe setting him up for, what, we got a superplex incoming here? Might be sending him to the outer limits. A calamity of humanity. Superplex, dead center in the ring. Wow, both guys have taken a lot of damage thus far. Might cover. The cover. Might be taking them right into the black hole into a loss. This might be the best I've ever seen Mike Camden. God, and look at Martinson just clutching it. Both of them clutching into their back. And here, let's take another look. Brought to you by Car Shield, that huge superplex. Wow. My goodness, just what, what damage sustained. Looks like both men worse for wear. Camden coming out on top, though, looking to press the advantage. Yeah, Camden has been continuing the aggression since landing that superplex on the top. If he's able to continue landing these strikes and slowly chip away at Kevin Martinson, he might be able to land another high-impact attack and get a pinfall. Back and forth seesaw action, that jumping knee floors Martinson there, so transitioning to striking is Camden, and all kinds of velocity into that form. Camden is teeing off here. Relentless, Mike Camden on Kevin Martinson right now. Oh my goodness, what a clothesline. Bombs away into the cover. Is that gonna do it? Cover, only a count of two. Wow, Kevin Martinson is one tough guy. I've seen him compete a lot of times, but this might be one of the worst places we've seen him in. He has taken a ton of damage thus far from Mike Camden, and he's going to need to do something differently if he wants to walk away with a win here. Gotta think that Martinson's been hit with blasters and pulsar cannons and whatever else, but I don't know if he's ever been hit as hard as he's being hit by Camden. God, still clutching that back like he just had a carbon rod taken to it, and now another German suplex from Mike Camden. He might get frozen in carbonite if this continues. Another suplex, and look at this. Practically suplex him out of the ring. Just hung out to dry, but that might actually benefit Martinson, believe it or not, because it buys him a little bit of time, TK. Absolutely, big man, sure does. Can't get pinned or submitted right now. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, but I think Mike Camden has some bad intentions on the outside. You're not kidding, look out here. Suplex City now on the ramp and down goes Martinson in a heap clutching that back. And Martinson, decorated competitor. We talk about his accolades, but you gotta talk about the battle-tested veteran body too. And it's taking a pounding right now. Yeah, Camden now zeroing in more and more on that lower back of Kevin Martinson. That is the target smart strategy after that superplex and now all the damage that is being sustained. Yeah, we're seeing Camden get a little bit closer and closer to that finish. You can see him pulling off higher and higher risk maneuvers that are paying off for him. Early on, he was doing lower risk things, striking, but now he's getting the bigger slams, which can get turned around on him. But with the bigger the risk, the bigger the impact. And right now, it's paying off for Mike Camden. Yeah, what some would say he's measuring Martinson right now, but you cannot you can't give Martinson a breath. You can't allow him to get an ounce of oxygen back in that body, or this is what you're gonna get. He's gonna fight his way out of the corner. He's doing just that as Martinson, but Camden battling back. What a physical war. What a war oh. of attrition here. Just look at the back though. You know, Martinson put everything he had into that shot. Offered one back in kind, but dropped into his knees. Yeah, this has just turned into a back and forth scrap. I would still say it's in the favor of Camden after how much damage we've seen Martinson take. But Martinson is not out of this battle and keeps landing big shots. Went downstairs there, in essence, throwing the fireball back to his gaming days of uh, Rock Ness. And now look out here, back and forth. It might be he who counters last, counters best, gets the victory. This could do it, the roll up. Close call again. What a match, guys. Back and forth we go. Oh my goodness. Wow, right into the leg lock. Got him hooked, got him hooked. Can he turn him him over? 
He's got to step over. Camden's doing a very good job of using his arms oh, to stay flat. Oh. Smart strategy. Use the, the oh, momentum from the it. kick out. Sitting down deep, putting Camden to the test. Is Camden going to tap in this high profile matchup with so much on the line? Potential title shots down the line. Look at the power. Oh, oh he just oh, absolutely the, crushing the spine. Look at the agony right now. Mike Camden's face. Wow, he is in trouble right now. He's got nowhere to go. Martinson's putting everything he has in, oh, his back. Boy. All that damage has added up, and Kevin Martinson is unable to finish the submission due to the damage he sustained to his back earlier in the matchup. And maybe Martinson was able to even the score a little bit on the lower back with how long he had him in that sharpshooter. Martinson, I, I just thought, was such a brilliant move using the momentum of Camden on that kick out to even just be able to turn him over. Both guys are hurting in there. What a contest. Look out here, might be thinking Brain Buster. The back gives out again though. And now, speaking oh. of backs, big time Spine Buster. The other way by Camden, dead center of the ring, dead to rights, not yet. Yeah, with the damage done, Camden was not able to cover quickly. Both these guys, you can really see the mileage adding up on their bodies. They are throwing themselves to the grinder trying to get this win. I got to tell you, gentlemen, both competitors showing just how dangerous and also determined they are. Yeah, the toughness, the stick to the ferocity that both these men have brought is something to be really impressed with. Kevin Martinson able to go up high, scores with a kick buy himself some time with Camden on the outside. Martinson get a little bit of a breather, but what is gonna be going through his head? Yeah, the perseverance you guys are talking about is extremely important because when it comes to championship rounds, it takes this type of perseverance to continue to survive and fight for that win. And this thing has gone into deep water. You've seen vicious suplexes from both sides, high impact maneuvers, strikes, everything in their toolbox, and then some, and something's gotta give neither man. Give it an inch, look out here, the double stomp does not hit pay dirt there, counter by Camden, back and forth, unbelievable. Kevin's gotta be careful, he's near that rampway that has been his Waterloo so many times, and what a pump kick straight to the face of Mike Camden from Martinson. Over a decade of action here in championship wrestling, guys, and this might be one of the most incredible physical contests I've ever been witness to. You know, one of the things I love about both these competitors is they're both looking for the finish. They're not eking out a win just barely. They are looking to put their opponent away in high Highlight real fashion, and it makes for an amazing match to enjoy. You could see the gears turning on Kevin Martinson's face. He had something in store for Mike Camden. Camden able to counter briefly for a moment, but Martinson right back in control. Oh man, well we saw we saw what Martinson did. You know, at oh. Coastline Clash with EJ Sparks, he just sent him into the steps. And I think a little remorse, again, heat of the battle here. A little bit of a flashback almost for Martinson. He's he's going through something. He seems very conflicted here. What it what what is churning in his mind right now? I don't know. You know, he was pulling the beard out there. It was almost like you know that. Well, I got to do what I got to do, and then in essence, almost you know, uh, regretting it after the fact. Sort of ends justify the means. Doesn't look too happy with himself though. Does Kevin Martinson? Boy, he hit him hard and heavy into those steps. A sickening yeah. thud. Yeah, Cam Camden and not showing many signs of life right now. Yeah, he, he's lifeless here, guys. He's not moving. The referee's got a judgment call here. Got to see if Camden can defend himself. So Martinson just elects to go for the cover. Is that going to do it? It does. Here is your winner, Kevin Martinson. What a victory by Martinson in a match that was a human highlight reel. More to come, including the television title on the line in your main event. Still to come. Expensive car repairs are as good as gone. Woo! Grab a shovel. Nobody tells the nature boy he's got to pay for car repairs. Not with Car Shield administrators by my side. Woo! You or someone you know suffering from drugs or alcohol and need help? With private insurance, treatment may be available at little or no cost. By calling us with the patient's private insurance card, we will explain all treatment options. Admissions counselors are standing by. All calls are confidential. This is a free service. Take the first step. Let us help you today. Call 1-800-943-5966. 
Do you use Viagra or Cialis? Have you been thinking about trying Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? If you're paying $20 or more a pill for Viagra, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Our pill delivers the exact same results for less than $3. We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for expensive prescriptions. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what to do next. You need to call now and get your 44 pills for just $99. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Call us anytime, day or night, and start saving big money for the exact same results. Have your credit card ready. Ordering is fast and easy, with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. Is your bathroom looking old and worn out? Want to update it, but you don't know where to start? Then let BCI Bath & Shower show you how to turn that old bath into an aisle of beauty and functionality. Our residential bathroom solutions provide the best value on the market, and our customer service is second to none. Our cost-effective BCI Bath & Shower family of products has what you need. Remodeling our bathroom was a big decision for us. They didn't make a mess out of our house at all. And at the end of the day, we had a beautiful new bathroom. And it was a great experience the whole way through. We have the best monthly payment programs in the industry, with payments as low as $68 per month, or no interest, no payments for 18 months. For a limited time, be one of the first 100 callers who schedule a free in-home consultation and receive $500 off. 1-800-913-0649. That's 1-800-913-0649. Factory trained and certified installers made in the USA and discounts for seniors and military. BCI Bath & Shower, the leader in affordable bathroom products. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Phoenix, Arizona, she is the belle of the brawl, Bryn Thorne. Well, we saw in that heated exchange with Halston Body and Jamie Iovine. Iovine talking about bringing in new talent. Bryn Thorne, competitor out of the Southwest, the bell of the brawl fitting because she is one heck of a striker. And she's going to need to be to take on Viva Van, the hellbent vixen. And introducing her opponent, being accompanied to the ring by Halston Body. She is the hell. Bent Vixen, Viva Van! Viva Van was victorious at Halston Body's Coastline Clash, getting the victory over CC Chanel, but certainly some controversy, that two by four coming into play. But speaking of controversy, how about a, an exchange between Iovine and Halston Body? Iovine saying, hey, you know, talent hasn't been paid, the vendors haven't been paid. Halston Body was given a big budget for that three-week spectacular. Where'd the money go? Have you gotten your check yet? From uh, nothing that I've gotten has cleared yet, and somehow I'm not surprised that the lethal accessory might be skimming a little bit off the top. Probably all went to his haberdasher, but we've got great women's division action coming up. Both of these ladies look very ready to get it on. Dangerous new weapon added to the arsenal of Viva Van. We saw it at Coastline Clash, that heart punch, time-tested, devastating maneuver. Talk about that, Blake, when you get hit as a competitor right in the ticker. So what happens is it, it affects the way that the heart beats, and so it can put somebody unconscious very quickly if you hit them at the right spot in the heart at the right time. And that was a little shot across the bow in the early uh, opening stands there by Viva Van. I mean, you got Brent Thorne, a striker, but... So far, it's been all Viva Van until then. Nice kick to break down Van and looking for the round kick. First one doesn't get you. Second one well into the cover, only a count of two. That was a beautiful combination of kicks there by Bryn Thorne. She threw the right, Viva Van was able to get out of the way of it and then quickly recountered with the left leg. I think both of these two ladies maybe have the same strengths to accomplish strikers. We're seeing that bear out right now. What a snapmare into the kick. That was beautiful flowing together of the grappling and striking there by Bryn Thorne in a pin attempt. I think that the more often we see these athletes able to blend their strikes and their grappling together, the better their offense will be. We'll see who is able to do that better than the other as Viva Van now answering back in kind with some just devastating strikes of her own. Now Bryn off her feet. Oh! Beautiful Sucker changes of attack, attacks there by Viva Van. She punched high, she kicked low, she dropped her, went for the, the diving clothesline there. 
beautiful variation of attacking uh, levels by Viva Van. Yeah, changing the levels, keeping her off her feet, and then you see Halston Body wanting to insert himself. Well, and that's all it takes, that second distraction, and it allows Viva Van to remain in the driver's seat. Again, it's been nothing if not completely tumultuous, the women's division, including that action we saw at Coastline Class Clash. Nice step suplex by Viva Van. Can hurt you a number of ways. Dragged her out to the center of the ring. Uh, sound strategy there to get Bryn Thorne away from the ropes and now continuing to apply the pressure. That was absolutely a veteran tactic there by Viva Van, pulling her towards the middle so that she couldn't get to the ropes for a rope break. Yeah, showed her ring intelligence, now it's showing her viciousness using the ropes as a weapon against Bryn Thorne. Bryn's got to do something, create a little bit of distance, get a breather in there, and get a fighting chance in this matchup. Championship action coming up later on in the program. Television title main event, Levi Shapiro defending against former Heritage champion, Golden Boy Jordan Clearwater. And speaking of championships, as Viva Van looking to put away Bryn Thorne, Got to wonder about maybe the history of the United Wrestling Network Women's Championship that has been much talked about. Much talked about, but like you said, since Jamie Iovine and Halston Body have really gotten, gotten involved, it's been in a state of flux, disarray in the women's division. But wow, what a counter by Brent Cover! I thought she was going to come away with the victory there. Viva Van, though, able to just kick out. Oh, that was a nasty elbow. Follows up nicely with the clothesline, does Bryn Thorne, who has wrestled in championship wrestling from Arizona. Oh, grabbing the hair there, taking advantage. Yeah, you started to see a little bit of momentum. Whoa. Oh. She, she More breakdowns here. CeCe Chanel hitting the apron there. Viva Van was very close to hitting that heart punch just now. These, Until, Yeah, that death rattle, and these two have some unfinished business. Two officials, and now you got Bryn Thorne has got Viva Van rolled up. It's got her beat, it's got her beat. This match would be over right now. This match, what, what in the world? Dom Kubrick, Dom Kubrick is reversing the pin here. The official now, Allison Lee into position. Oh, not this way. Come on. Here is your winner, Viva Van. Unbelievable, a turn of events literally here. Let's look back at the action brought to you by Car Shield. Car Shield cars go further, and apparently Viva Van Halston Body and crew will continue to further break the rules. But why is Dom Kubrick out here? Why was he inserting himself there, into there this? You see, and there you see it, Bryn Thorne had the pin. The match should have been over. Kubrick comes in, reversal of fortunes, and Viva Van scores another controversial victory. I'm not a fan of these cheating tactics, but Viva Van was very, very close to landing that heart rattle punch and ending that matchup before CC Chanel came out and distracted the referee. So it might have been a little double turn of events, but she was very close to winning that matchup. More action to come right here on Championship Wrestling. This is a national health care alert from the 24-7 Diabetic Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one has diabetes, listen closely. Now, regardless of your age, if you have insurance, you may qualify to receive diabetic testing supplies with little to no out-of-pocket cost. Get free delivery, free information, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers for free. Call the 24-7 Diabetic Health Hotline now for details. Toll free at this number. You've decided to go back to school. Good for you. So, which would you rather do? Get up early, get dressed, drive to college, find a parking spot, walk across campus, only to sit in a giant lecture hall, or earn your degree from home with Independence University. I have two small children, a 10-year-old and a four-year-old, so the online format and the flexibility was a must. I could work at my own pace, and I was still able to take care of my kids while going to school. We'll even provide you with a new laptop and tablet to keep when you graduate and a personal student success team. I have had such personalized attention, and it's an online degree. If I had a question on the coursework, I always got my answer within an hour or two. I will never be able to express what I owe this institution. Independence University, online, but never alone. Call 1-800-768-2670, 1-800-768-2670. A struggle to stand for a shower 
and after falling in the tub, I felt it was only a matter of time before I broke a hip. If you worry about the risk of an accidental fall getting in or out of the bath, could a walk-in tub be right for you? Search Consumer Affairs Walk-In Tubs to find great deals, like a free shower package upgrade. Once you turn 60, you have to realize there are limitations whether you want to admit it or not. My walk-in tub has helped me to continue to enjoy a much better quality of life. Why decide between a walk-in tub or shower when you could have both? Call now and we'll upgrade your new SafeStep walk-in tub purchase with our exclusive free shower package. My husband said walk-in tubs are for old people, but I was more interested in feeling young and staying in the game. That's why I recommend a walk-in tub to everyone. Call 800-928-0124. That's 800-928-0124. 800-928-0124. Call now. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jack Farmer. This is Championship Wrestling, and I am standing by it with the United Wrestling World Tag Team oh, yeah. Champions, so the right. Bodega. Good yeah. job. Good job. And fellas, you have been on Me a... gente! It feels good to be back at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, and I think what this episode need is a little bit of sazon, a little seasoning. So what's going to happen, Joaquin, is the Bodega, we're going to interview you. Me? <clears throat> let, me, let me channel my inner Todd straight, Kennelly here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here. I'm standing with Joaquin Farmer. And my first question to you is, who is the best tag team in the United Wrestling Network? The, the, the Bodega. The, the Bodega, Bodega, right? Bodega. Woo! Bodega. First prize right Bodega. there. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it over to Slice Boogie Slice. Who sent the Hogsman straight to the butcher? The Bodega. That's right. That's a great, great answer. We're going to send it over to Papo. All right, three for three. Papa, who shook? Four minutes of heat so badly, they had to go to the streets, find a tweaker, change their name, and come back just to try to start all over again. The Bodega. That's right. And my last question is, who are the poppies of the United Wrestling Network? Me, Gente. Oh. oh. oh Papa, no. Don't do that. You're doing so good, too. Listen, nothing changes. We still here to rob the house, and we still the best damn thing going at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. So I'm going to say one last thing. Papa, you hungry? Starving. Let me see this right here. You shut up and don't say nothing. Everybody out there, listen up or say it with me. I don't care. Me? I'm the King Fat Boy, Papo Esco. He is Danny Limelight, and this is the Bully Slice Boogie. We are the Bodega, where you can get anything you need. Go ahead and say it. Psych, including a beatdown. Yeah. What are you doing, dog? Yeah. Oh, I don't, this is your job. This is your job right here. Do your job. But we're still cool. We're still cool. It is main event time, and there you see the Golden Boy shining like never before, and perhaps it's because just three weeks ago, it seems that Jordan Clearwater was able to finally put Jack Banning in his rear view mirror, and he gets back to where he belongs in championship competition. Yeah, I think that it's great that he's back focused and dedicated to his goal, that he's not distracted by the emotional investment he had in Jack Banning. Dedicated to his goal, dedicated to maybe getting some gold back around his waist here. He has a tall task. I am interested to see if there are any lasting effects, be they physical or mental, though, from that last man standing match. I, I can't imagine the challenger to be 100%. Time will tell. And here comes the champion flanked by Howdy Price. And talk about big matches at Halston Body's Coastline Clash. Just last week in our main event, Levi Shapiro surviving, walking away with United Television title. Was not victorious, however. Time limit draw, but certainly the future of Jack Cartwright the challenger last week, in doubt. Yeah, Levi Shapiro using every bit of the champion's advantage uh, to escape, still champion, not an outright victory. And like you said, the future of Jack Hart right now clouded. And the vice-like grip, no, not of the claw, but of Howdy Price's grubby hands on that television championship continue. 
You know, we saw a quick exchange of words there from Jordan Clearwater and Levi Shapiro as Levi was getting into the ring. You can tell we see a little bit more aggressive of a Jordan Clearwater than we've ever seen before. Here to set the stage more on that momentarily, Adnan Qureshi, take it away. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United Television Championship. Introducing first, the challenger. Yeah. Weighing in at 220 pounds, yeah. he is the golden boy, Jordan Clearwater. Yeah. <laughs> and introducing his opponent, being accompanied to the ring by Howdy Price. Hey. From the last stop on the loop, weighing in at 215 and three quarters pounds, he is the United Television Champion, Timeless Levi Shapiro. A couple of things to note from right there. Jordan Clearwater, much more aggressive, but he was also watching his back when he got up in the corner. He is very aware of the cheating that goes on with these two, and he's probably gonna be prepared for it. Well, and probably, and prepared and accustomed to watching his back after the history, recent history that he had with Jack Banning. But trying to get past that, here you see what it's all about, the prestigious United Television title on the line. Some greats have held that. Man, Clearwater's out there in the middle of the ring, ready to get started, and Shapiro does not look as excited for this bell to ring. War of words between the two before they have even engaged physically here, trying to feel one another out. But yeah, I mean, Clearwater, he looks so focused, so measured in there. Levi's gotta watch out. Yeah, I'm actually a big fan of the aggression that I'm seeing out of Jordan Clearwater thus far. He definitely needs to control it and apply it at the appropriate times to make sure that his judgment doesn't get clouded and he makes poor decisions in there. But he needs to be aggressive to come out here and put the champion away. Be interesting, as we noted, to see if Clearwater is 100% physically. Changes levels, nicely done, into the single leg takedown. And the champion gets to the safety of the ropes. That'll force the break. Clearwater's been very active in the United Wrestling Network and out. Matches on, N, uh, on New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong, uh, right here in the Ocean View Pavilion. I've seen him in the National Wrestling Alliance as well. But again, the former Heritage Champion, that title was robbed due yes. to the actions of Jack Banning. And he'd love to get the television title, but right now in control, the champ. Yes, he's in there with a the master, but Clearwater giving as good as Levi did. Oh, a little bit of one-upsmanship from the Golden Boy. You love to see it, right, Blake? Absolutely. That was a beautiful uh, technical sit-through to back control where he spun around and played with him a little bit, just like Levi did. Again, a beautiful sit-through by Levi Shapiro now. Bit of a gator roll now by the champion, and uh, trying to make it so that the challenger doesn't know which end is up. Great amateur-style ra wrestling, grappling in the early going. Both champion and challenger seem to be up to the task. Wrist control now as Shapiro trying to get to the safety of the ropes again, but the challenger not having any part of it was wise to it this time. Yeah, rare mistake from Levi Shapiro. Usually he knows the geometry of that ring better than anybody. Boy, he is just desperate trying to get out. He manages to now to look at going for the proverbial timeout. He's gonna go for a walk. You, you can tell. We're gonna go to break, folks. We'll be back. Our title matchup main event continues right after this. Fans, show your support for our newest sponsor, 3D Sports Cards and Collectibles, located at 32nd Avenue in Bell. The mom and pop shop is Set Builder Central for you trading card collectors. They've also got sports autographs, Funko Pops, professional wrestling memorabilia. Speaking of wrestling, you'll want to follow 3D Sports Cards on Facebook and Instagram for information on upcoming appearances by wrestling greats, as well as some of your favorites from Championship Wrestling from Arizona. That's 3D Sports Cards and Collectibles at 32nd Avenue and Bell. Attention timeshare owners. This is an urgent consumer alert from the Timeshare Exit Hotline, a national company specializing in helping consumers legally get out of their expensive timeshare contracts. We're offering you a way to legally get rid of your timeshare. 
So if you're fed up with the maintenance fees that keep on coming and want to learn if you can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, call today. Even if you've tried before and were unsuccessful in getting rid of your timeshare, call today and see if we can help. We offer a complete 100% unconditional client satisfaction guarantee. Make this completely free call and learn how we can help you legally put an end to your timeshare nightmare once and for all. You have nothing to lose, so call right now to qualify and receive a free consultation. You can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, but you've got to call now. Call the number on your screen today. It's a free call. Mary and Shirley both need oxygen. Shirley lost her freedom the day she went on oxygen. But Mary has the ultra-compact Inogen 1 G4 Oxygen Concentrator from Inogen. It's the smallest and lightest model we've ever made. Shirley is forced to miss out on everyday activities. Mary fully enjoys her life. Shirley has to wait for tank deliveries and worries about running out of oxygen. But Mary's Inogen 1 G4 makes its own oxygen, so she'll always have the oxygen she needs anytime, anywhere. Shirley finally listened to Mary and now has more freedom too. It's time for you to reclaim your freedom and independence with the Inogen 1 G4. Act now to start your 30-day risk-free trial. This is a limited time offer, so don't wait and don't accept substitutions. The sooner you call, the sooner you can say goodbye to heavy oxygen tanks for good and reclaim the freedom and independence you deserve. Call now for your 30-day risk-free trial. Call 800-721-9328. That's 800-721-9328. level of Clearwater upped while also, you know, that, that focus, that measured emotion, not losing control in there, but in full control of the champion. Yeah, no question. Uh, you know, was defeated with much controversy at the time by Richie Slade for the Heritage title. And, and at that point, you know, it was at his A game and had weeks of torment with Jack Banning. But great to see uh, a, a, a newly focused golden boy, Jordan Clearwater, and so impressive thus far. Big suplex, no wasted time, quickly into the cover, doesn't hook the leg, gets a count of two. Yeah, you know, you can really tell a lot about a fighter once they have been through a war. And Jordan Clearwater and Jack Banning went to war, and he has come out a different man. The same beast, but a much more aggressive, meaner, and... Oh, he had it scouted from Levi. Look at the intelligence on display. And smarter, exactly. Into the cover now. Swing and a miss by Shapiro. Followed up nicely with the leg drop. Was the golden boy, but now showing a little bit of frustration is Clearwater that he hasn't been able to put Shapiro away. Shapiro so wily, so tough to take that title away from him because he is the, he is the master of the championship advantage. He's a master of creating disaster, shenanigans, shortcuts. Uh, yeah, Wiley is a nice way to put it. And there you see the source of it all, Howdy Price, trying to direct traffic. Jordan Clearwater is doing a good job here of attacking this choke. He's under the neck, but he doesn't have control of the body. That's why he's unable to finish his choke here. Now Levi Shapiro's backing him into the corner to fight his way out. Yeah, perhaps if he had the hooks in, Shapiro wouldn't have been able to get back to his feet and back uh, Clearwater into the corner, but Breaking the hold, got to give credit where credit is due because Shapiro got out of a bad way there and now unloading a nasty shot and this thing's getting physical oh. in a hurry. Got to love it in our main event. God, lighten him up, back and forth we go. And you're right, it's, it's Clearwater now going for more. You can see just the pain racking all over Levi Shapiro's face. There's such a difference in the damage of each of these men's strikes. Levi Shapiro hit Jordan Clearwater hard. Jordan Clearwater hit him back much, much harder. Clearwater giving Shapiro a little preview of the June gloom that is perhaps to come. And now it might be time, Midas touch time, if the challenger can connect. Oh, give me a break. And there you see the dividends that Howdy Price can pay. Levi Shapiro wow. digging down deep in his bag of tricks. What a spin kick. Yeah, it's beautiful. Jordan Clearwater barely dodged the first kick, and he spun around and sent a second kick surprising Jordan Clearwater. Next snap now to boot. Center of the ring. Champions got him in trouble, and he had Howdy Price out there like he was grabbing into the cookie jar and really turned the table. 
Clearwater was on his way to perhaps hitting the Midas touch and claiming his second major title here in the National, or in the uh, United Wrestling Network. Yeah, the cemetery was gonna be the last stop on the loop for Levi Shapiro, but then Howdy Price wrapping the leg, referee didn't see it, costing Clearwater. Now you see the champion just, you give him an inch, he's gonna take a mile. Oh wow, Beautiful look at this hammer lock. There. Beautiful transition by Levi Shapiro to control the arm lock, switch it up, and then utilize that control to throw Jordan Clearwater face first into the turnbuckle. And we gotta remember, gentlemen, fans watching at home, that those extremities, upper extremities of the challenger were put under extreme pressure. He was in a straight jacket oh, look at for this. a long time, and Howdy Price, again, just digging in literally here. You know, uh, Clearwater in that straight jacket for a long period of time in that last man standing match, so. That had to do some damage. Yeah, absolutely, and just the insult to injury. See the grubby paws of that Cretan Howdy Price all over Clearwater a moment ago. Levi Shapiro continuing to press the advantage. Something worth mentioning with uh, Jordan Clearwater being in the straight jacket, he was still able to win that matchup, meaning he is very, very dangerous with just his legs alone. He can put matches away. One of the most impressive things I've ever seen was that. And Jordan Clearwater continues to show the fortitude, the fight, the resilience. He's got the champ on spaghetti legs, tilting at windmills, and down he goes. Those are some big shots by Jordan Clearwater. Fantastic job. Come. Whoa. Been very effective with the leg drop. Going for the cover. History to be made. No, not yet. And uh, yeah, boy, I'll, I'll tell you, the champion was punching at ghosts there momentarily and then he would be haunted by losing the title, but not yet. Late leg hook by Clearwater there might have, might have cost him, could have put Levi away otherwise. But Levi's still in a very bad position. He is hurt right now. If Jordan Clearwater can continue to apply more damage, see, he's oh. still wobbling. That man is hurt. If Jordan Clearwater can plant him on the mat, he might be able to get another pinfall. Clearwater's measuring, sizing him up maybe. Call the hospital, get a bed ready, either that or a plot. Nobody home there, and uh, Clearwater going for the Midas touch, got hung out to dry. Watch out for Howdy Price. Again with Howdy Price. That time it looked like it actually kind of hurt Jordan Clearwater's leg, and if they're able to take that Midas touch out of the equation, this matchup could go somewhat differently. Yeah, could have a torn hamstring here. Now a stretch muffler, more damage, more damage being done, looking for a submission. This is a new wrinkle in the offense of the champion after Howdy Price took liberties on the outside. Jordan fighting with everything he could with that left leg to get out of that. You're right, Levi Shapiro saw the, tweaked the leg, and preferably put a, I mean, put a bullseye. Oh, here it comes! Couldn't hit it! And now hyperextension here, Blake, hyperextension, and now stepping through, more pressure! Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on that knee right now, especially with what County Price is doing He's clawing the, the knee! We, I've never seen Whoa. this before, he's got the claw applied to Jordan's knee! Oh, he taps! Here is your winner and step, step. Oh. And now he will not release this hold, this devastating hold here. Let's take a look back at the action brought to you by UnitedWrestlingShop.com. You see Howdy Price pulling the leg on the outside and then taking advantage. How about the claw on the knee? All those ligaments, tendons, tendons, nerve endings there, Blake? We can only wonder what kind of damage Jordan Clearwater's knee has right now. And now these men are on top of him, adding insult to injury. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, that, that's, that's Brett Michaels from Championship Wrestling from Memphis the making gun, his way. The gun show has arrived oh. in Hollywood and it's sending Levi Shapiro and Howdy Price heading for the hills. Brett Michaels not a moment too soon saving the day from all the way from Memphis. Gun Show looks like he's got his sights set on Levi Shapiro. More championship action next week. Well, Levi Shapiro retains the United Wrestling TV title, but what does he have in store for him now after the Gun Show? Brett Michaels from our sister promotion, Championship Wrestling from Memphis, makes a surprise appearance. Fans, be sure to tune in next week as our Arizona State Champion, Ray Rosas, returns to action after that vicious attack by Dan Joseph. Plus, the United Wrestling Tag Team titles will be on the line, and we'll see more from our women's division all next week, right here on Championship Wrestling from Arizona, presented by Car Shield.